lemon balm. Good morning, my seedy friends. Today we're gonna make a natural bug spray. So it's very easy to make and uh, very effective. I made this uh, four weeks ago and I'm gonna show you how to make it. Couldn't be easier. I actually wanna give credit where credit's due. And I learned this from a gal on YouTube who is an herbalist, I am not. And she showed me how to make it and it works great. So here we go. All you need is a glass jar, glycerin, which you can get from any pharmacy. It's pretty cheap, actually. You can use that to make liquid hand soap, too, which is why I always had it on hand. Witch hazel, also very inexpensive, and you can get that at any pharmacy. And then uh, a bottle to put it in after it's all made. And basically, the way you make the natural bug spray is you use any type of smelly herbs you have growing fresh in your garden. So what I have today is holy basil or Tulsi, very strong smelling, anise hyssop, lots of that growing as well. We have oh, beautiful peppermint. So I have a bunch of peppermint growing that I cut this morning. And then in the beginning of the video, I was cutting lemon balm. So, ah, oh, very fragrant. Anything that's really fragrant will work well. You can use um, rosemary, lavender. And so here we go. This is all you do. Take the jar, get, some, get the glycerin, just put a little gliss, little squirt. Oh, I don't know, maybe a tablespoon of glycerin. And then you take the herbs, chop them up a little bit. So I'm going to start with the anise. Chop that up. And I'm just taking scissors and rough cutting it. Flowers, leaves, the whole plant smells. So I just want to put that in there. Let's give this the fell. Some of the yummy peppermint. Cut that into the jar. And just a rough cut. It doesn't have to be macerated or anything real fine. And I am pushing this down into the jar. You don't want it to be packed so tight that that you can't get any liquid in there. And then some lemon balm. You can rip it with your hands, you can cut it with scissors, whatever works for you. Push that down in there. So now I have lemon balm. I have anise hyssop. I have holy basil. And I have peppermint. Now you could do this whole thing in just lemon balm. You could do the whole thing in just peppermint. Whatever works for you. Let's get a little bit of this holy basil in here. You see, I did press it down just a little bit. But it's not jammed down in there. It's just loosely packed. Now we're going to take the witch hazel. We're going to pour it over top. I'm basically going to fill the jar with the witch hazel. The witch hazel is a good astringent. Um, you can use it for minor skin irritations. Um, some people put it on insect bites, minor cuts, things of that nature. So this is actually pretty soothing when you spray it on your skin. And I'm just filling this up. And I'll show you. Bear with me a second. So that was a new container. You can see I used most of it. But you can use any size mason jar. If you want to make a bunch of it, you can make a bunch of it. And see, I just filled it up 
right to the top. Put the lid on it. Let me get that screwed on. And you can see, uh, you can label the lid. You're going to want to put this in a dark, warm place. So for me, that means my front porch, which is very sunny, and I put it in a paper bag. You're going to want this to sit there for three to six weeks, um, really to just kind of let it let it work. You can see the you can see the anise hyssop at the bottom, and it's basically just going to sit in a warm, sunny place in the dark for three to six weeks. So what's going to happen is you're basically making tea. Um, with the witch hazel and the glycerin is a little bit of a preservative so it doesn't spoil and it keeps the glycerin keeps it from evaporating as quickly when you spray it on your skin or around the area and then you're going to want a little squirt bottle after the three to six weeks and you put put a label on it you know what you put in it so if, if it works good you could make more and it's just you know just a gentle mist works great smells amazing um this one i did put a little bit of rosemary in also and then it works great it's going to keep bugs away and uh yeah i thought you might be interested in knowing how to make um a natural bug spray one that one that isn't filled with toxic chemicals and one that actually works so there it is homemade bug spray let me know what you think let me know if you try it um, and and what herbs you used. Basically, the only thing you have to remember is the herbs um, have to be something that's very fragrant. You know, lemon balm. Super lemony smelling. Crush it up in your hands. You can get it all over your hands. You can do something as simple as taking the herbs and rubbing it on your skin as well. The peppermint, another great smell. Amazing. All of these different herbs, they they all have medicinal benefits. If you rub it right on your skin, that's the easiest way to do it. But if you want to make a spray for you and your family, um, I actually used this and sprayed it on my porch. And it kept flies and mosquitoes and everything else away. So it's a good deterrent and it smells nice too. So I will post the link um, in the description below from the gal that I got this from. She's amazing. I've learned so much from her. Um, the other thing you're going to want to have is um, a way to label your bug spray. So I usually keep a roll of white duct tape and a magic marker. And then, and then get your ingredients. Again, as simple as witch hazel. Just a little bit of glycerin. You don't have to use the glycerin, uh, but it makes it more shelf stable so that it, it lasts a little longer. A glass jar. Fresh herbs. And, you know, you can use wild herbs. If you don't have a big herb garden, you can go for a walk and, and see what's real fragrant. And you can use wild herbs as well. So I know everyone doesn't have a big garden. Um, label it. Put it in a sunny place for three to six weeks. Um, I don't think you can let it sit too long, honestly. Um, you want it to be nice and warm. You can put it in your window. You can put it on your porch. And I put mine in a paper bag. So there you go. How to make homemade bug spray. Quick, easy, natural, and extremely effective. So if you like this, let me know in the comments. And um, one more thing. Uh, we started uploading videos to Rumble. So we are going to still have videos here on YouTube, at least for a little while. But we're also going to start utilizing Rumble. So look for the pop-up homestead. And you can find us on Rumble. I know a lot of people are moving away from YouTube because of the censorship. And you're not allowed to say a lot of things. So for that reason, we're going to also put our videos on Rumble. And maybe eventually just be on Rumble. But we know we have followers over here that um, do find our content useful. So yeah, that's it. My CD friends, stay bug free. Hope you have a great day.